Namaste, my dear friends. Today we are beginning a new set of five frequently asked questions. And in this series, we are going to explore the five important paradigms of the Yoga Darshana. I want to remind you, these are five important principles. These are not the only principles of the Yoga Darshana. What we want to share is some of the unique ideas that Yoga Darshana is bringing that is making it so special and so wonderful for all of us to study. I also feel that these are five important principles that all yoga students and yoga teachers especially must know and understand so that they know what they are representing when they represent yoga. Today we start with the first paradigm that yoga talks about how mind is the source of all problems and mind is also the solution. Whether we like to believe it or not, my dear friends, yoga is not for the body. Yoga is actually presented for disciplining and regulating our mind so that it acts as a useful tool to serve us in our dharma, the purpose of our life, and therefore achieve liberation. Just like a sharp knife can be used to cut vegetables or fruits in a very fine manner, the same sharp knife can also be used to harm or kill somebody. In the same way, a sharp mind can help us achieve our dharma very effectively or can create problems for us. Patanjali presents this very very early in the Yoga Sutra philosophy when he says Vrittayaha Panchatayaha Krishtaha Akrishtaha. Patanjali presents this idea that mind and its activities are a source of problem. Klishtaha means it hurts us. Because if we use the mind in an inappropriate manner, it can not only harm us, but also harm others. However, if we use the same mind for appropriate purposes and restrain when we have to, then the same mind becomes a very useful tool for us and is non-harming. Akhlishtaha means non-harming. So that's why in the entire field of yoga philosophy, Patanjali is talking us, talk, teaching us about how we need to discipline our mind, how we need to make sure that the mind is not indisciplined and distracted, but rather the mind is focused, steady and disciplined so that we can achieve the spiritual purpose for which each of us are born and therefore finally achieve liberation. This is a very important principle of yoga philosophy that mind is the source of trouble and mind can also be the solution. My great beloved father Sri TKV Desikachar always used to quote, mind can be a faithful servant or an evil master. It just depends on how we use it. So following these great teachings of Patanjali, let us work towards using the mind for appropriate purposes so that each of us can fulfill our dharma and eventually move toward 
liberation. Namaste, my dear friends. Namaste, friends. I am Kaustubha Desikachar of the Vini Yoga tradition and I'm very, very glad that you've come this far in the video. If you have come this far, it means you really like and appreciate our videos and let us know how you feel about it through comments below. Let us also know that you appreciate it by giving us a thumbs up and also clicking the notification icon so that we will be inspired to produce more free and valuable content like this and we let the community grow so please 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 subscribe to us so that the algorithms pick our videos in a much better manner and thank you for sharing these videos through your social network so that it reaches as many people as possible this is the best way we can do to share nice content with our close friends and our students and other people who we care about and be safe and be happy and be healthy as we are going through very difficult times but let us remain connected to our heart with hope and shraddha namaste